Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Global Peace by 2027. This is Global Prayer Chain. We pray to God in the direct presence of God to mobilize the world to help people live in peace uh, urgent in Eastern Europe and globally by 2027. All about our meetings is uh, below. All description uh, above is pray list uh, you could see there uh, turn on this uh, our meetings and the uh, sanctify place and uh, today we pray for interfaith so uh, let's uh, start to the messiah and coming words and then we will pray for interfaith cooperation international and for peace globally practicing the teaching uh, that uh, world is one family ladies and gentlemen all the activities i founded around the world are models of movement that transcend national barriers work to tear down the walls between races and they are interreligious in nature and global in scale unificationists around the world carry with them a new worldwide view that is the result of a revolution of consciousness with god through love at its center they are already living as one human family okay this was quotes for today powerful quotes uh, let's go with the silaja starting this global prayer chain from india heavenly asia welcome silaja i think today's uh, theme is again interfaith yes yeah so we pray for the peace uh, firstly i thank god for giving us a wonderful day and that all of us are here together to be able to pray for peace, which we are aiming for 2027 as part of that forum, our regular praying chain. And uh, to have interfaith, it is very important because there's a lot of these uh, uh, things which we keep blaming, oh, it's a Muslim country, or this is the Muslim guy, or if there is a terrorist attack, it is a Muslim guy, if there is something else, it is a Christian. So we keep blaming each other. It's become a blame game. Nobody mm -hmm. talks about humanity. And half the time, the riots and the disturbance in the country happen because of the faith and the inter-religion things or interfaith uh, disbelief. So I pray to God that all of us should believe. We might believe in our own culture and our own religion, but we should have faith in others also that their religions are also equally good and it is at par with us. We should not never look down upon and characterize or judgmental things about any other religion and make it up every religion uh, people if you talk about buddhism jainism everybody there are good and bad in each of the cults so the people do not define the religion religion is defined by one god and we are just paving our uh, path to follow that in the best format what we can and how we understand the religious books what they say and we doing the best if one person is doing wrong doesn't mean the whole religion is wrong or the person people belong and we stop being judgmental about people that interfaith becomes our key to bringing about the peace. So I pray to God, all the gods in Hindu or in other religion, that let us give us, let them give us rational thinking and let us start believing in one God, one religion. That's when we'll start having that faith in each other and move on to get our peace. Let us teach children that uh, all gods are one. We need to have faith in the God. There's a supreme power above us who's taking care of it and every about happiness and smile and wherever you are staying in the vicinity to the people and to the uh, person whom we meet daily or in the society by doing good. So with that, I thank God to give us this opportunity to pray. And I also pray that all of us who are part of this forum have the best of health, prosperity. And if there is any illness that goes away without our notice, and we all bounce back to happiness again. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you very much, Salaja. <laughs> Yeah, one uh, one uh, God, <laughs> one God, one our heavenly parent. Uh, yeah, we are one thank global you, family of human beings. <laughs> okay, and now we are brothers and sisters. Let's go with the Yerina from the Uganda, heavenly Africa. Okay, good evening, good evening, everyone. Let us pray. God, our Father, today we are praying for unity of together, togetherness centering on you. So we know, Father, 
that you are the source of goodness and mercy. And we thank you indeed for, for the gift of life that you gave us because many of us didn't know that we could ever have an opportunity to live on earth. But by your grace, we are here, the world that you created for us. And in the beginning, Father, you did not create any religions. You only created people whom you wanted to live in goodness, in love, for eternity. Because, Father, you give us what you have. You have love, therefore you give us love. You are unchanging. We should be unchanging. You are eternal. We should be eternal. You are absolute, and we should be absolute. Heavenly Father, the Bible tells us that those who believe in God and praise him, they praise him in spirit because God is a spirit. Therefore, our foremost thing to do on earth is to make sure that our spirit is clean, our spirit is good and pure. All these religions that come up, they were created in different circumstances. People grew up in different circumstances because the Eastern, they have the Buddhism, Hinduism, the Western have Christianity, then the Central have Islam. All these came out because of the environment and circumstances they are living in. Therefore, the prophets visited us to come and take us back to God in our own circumstances. But that doesn't mean that we all have different gods. We acknowledge one God and we love one God. And we know that it is you, the one God, who really makes us live on earth by solving all our problems, helping us to see the right path to follow. So grant us, Heavenly Parent, to renew our spirituality and charism every single day. Help us to be instruments of peace and goodness to be visible signs in your kingdom, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth, on earth. So Father, we want to thank you for this forum where we can air ourselves, communicate with you because Father, you said that if you have any problem or any, any matter perturbing you, let's discuss it. So this forum is enabling us to discuss the issues of peace. So we are very, very grateful and we continue to pray for peace. Jesus said, peace be with you, because he knows the importance of peace. So I want to always say that peace be with everyone on earth, under one God, regardless of any religion, like our dear sister Elijah said, we should recognize each other. Let us see goodness only in each other, not see which religion or any evil things that somebody has done, we should always just see the goodness in a person. And that way, we can live peacefully, living for the sake of others, and also have the hope that we shall get peace by the year 2027. Thank you very much. I want to pray and thank you through all the holy saints and sages who came on earth, all of them. I want to pray through them so that they may take this message to you, I love the Heavenly Father. Thank you. As we go to sleep, please uh, take care of the people on this forum, all our brothers and sisters who come here every day, Father, to pray, to pray for peace by the year 2027. So, Father, grant us this prayer and also grant our families prosperity, love, and spirituality. Amen, amen, amen. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you very much, Thank Elima. you very much, Elima. Thank you. So nice to hear from you. So nice to hear from you. <laughs> really feeling God. Really feeling God. <laughs> Through your prayer. Yes, Through your yes. Prayer. Thank you. Okay, let's invite Nelly okay, to have usually good research, about, good research the about the topic the for the day and peace. Topic for the day and peace. Kinku, welcome. Yeah. Kinku, welcome. So, ben, so ben. welcome. Ben. So, uh, let us pray about peace building like Global Peace Mission 2027. The term peace building was brought to 
international att attention in 1992 when formal UN Secretary General Bart Ross Ghali announced an agenda for peace, peace building is a long-term process as it involves changes in attitudes, behavior, and institutional norms. Importantly, peace building is done collaboratively at local, national, regional, and international level. Peace building is a process intended to resolve current conflicts and prevent future conflicts by addressing the cause of by addressing the cause of the problem and building a comprehensive a strategy to encourage lasting peace. Successful peace building not only stops or prevents violent conflict, but it also changes the way this agreement is handled in a society or between nations. Like a world order view as peace through the power of law, non-violence peace through will power Solving the conflict through the negotiation and communication. So conflict arises whenever individuals have different value, opinions, need, interest, and are unable to find a middle way. The Global Peace Index is released by International, the Institute for Economics and Peace. The Institute of Economic and Peace is a headquarter in Sydney, Australia, bit Brandes in Newark, Mexico City, and Oxford. The Global Peace Index report presents the most comprehensive data-driven analysis to data on peace, its economic value trends, and how to develop peaceful society. The report covers 99.7% of the world population and uses 23 quantitative and qualitative indicators from highly respected sources to compile the index. Broadly indicators include ongoing con conflict, safety and security, military licenses. So recently, the Institute of Economic and Peace launched the 16th edition of the Global Peace Index, which has highlighting that the global economic impact of violence by dollar sixty point five trillion in two thousand twenty one, equivalent to ten point nine percent of global GDP. The twenty twenty two Global Peace Index indicator: Iceland, New Zealand, Ireland, Denmark, and Australia to be the most peaceful countries, and a Afghanistan, even Syria, Russia, and South Sudan to be the at least peaceful. In our India rank is 135, United States like 129, and Japan 10. So according to the Global Peace Index 2022, Iceland was the most peaceful country on the world with an index value of 1.1. So Iceland also has a low rate of natural disaster, making it safe place to the live. Based on all these Factors. Iceland ranks as one of the safest country in the world, as well as being ultra safe. Iceland is also an exceptionally beautiful country. So peace building activities can highly cost effective providing cost saving, shifting times in the cost of the interventions. In low peace involvement, the most important factors are related to the bell functions government, low level of corruption, acceptance of the right of others, and good relations with neighbors. So due to armed conflict in the MENA, MENA is a powerful word, M-E-N-A, may related indicators such as deaths from internal conflict, number of refugees, and organized internal conflict are at high levels. MENA is often used in the academia, military planning, disaster relief, media planning as a broadcast regions and a business writings. The regions share a number of cultural, economic, and environmental similarity across it, comprising country. For example, some of the most extreme impact of climate change will be held in the MENA. Thank you so much. That's
I have end my speech. Amin, Amin. Yeah, thank you very much, Tinku. So nice to okay. hear from you that uh, there is one country, Iceland. <laughs> where is Iceland. Peace? <laughs> Other could uh, take example. <laughs> <laughs> I like usually Sailaja always uh, during this year she is coming. She she said that in India we have this holiday and that uh, another time came another holiday, another holiday, another holiday. <laughs> So India is always celebration, no time to fight. Eh? <laughs> India always in peace and celebrations. <laughs> now we are celebrating Christmas. Amen. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I said <laughs> only celebration. Okay, please join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy to meet you alive here. We, we are meeting this uh, day to... Uh, every day at seven o'clock uh, to meet you, really meet you alive. And uh, um, I pray so much for brothers and sisters who are here because uh, uh, you said that uh, we could see you in the nature and most uh, we could see you in the, your children. So uh, we are your children and, and I pray so much for uh, your children, for families who join, for uh, Irina family in uh, Uganda, Africa, and uh, Tinku and Sailaja families in the um, India, Asia, and uh, I'm in Europe. Uh, Heavenly parents, uh, we are so happy to meet you today and pray for peace. You say to us to, in the Bible to pray for the sick. And we see that um, as we are all human beings, uh, the cells of one human body, uh, we resemble this. Uh, our, our body is uh, ill, dear Heavenly Parent, and we pray for healing, that all 8 billion people could be healed and uh, so we are so thankful that uh, you lead some um, um, countries uh, and people and uh, families uh, and communities to live in peace and uh, really celebrate this and enjoy this. Uh, we pray very much for brothers and sisters, uh, full countries who are uh, fighting now, uh, who are struggling uh, to stop this and uh, really look it uh, through the God's true love and uh, really inherit this because uh, if you understand this, uh, research about mind discovery that the uh, Messiah Sangami inspired us, we could understand that uh, our mind is eternal and we couldn't harm any anybody around us because uh, we everybody we are eternal and even if somebody kill others they will meet a spiritual world heavenly parent and uh, there will be big uh, um, resentment as we see now this all of these fights are going with resentments dear heavenly parent and uh, Jesus inspired us to love our, our enemy. So therefore, we pray so much uh, to really inherit this spirit. And uh, as the Messiah inspired us, that uh, he started a big movement of interfaith co cooperation. Uh, this is very great and, and so good. Heavenly Parent, um, uh, we were thinking that uh, um, there was many religions. And that they, there, as our sister pray, Irina, that... Uh, um is uh, so many religions on the world but uh, you lead us further uh, step by step uh, to understand you that uh, uh, you came through your son only because of son uh, jesus and now uh, jesus came second time so already on earth is um, uh, only begotten son and only begotten daughter so we could see you through them you are not some amorphic some uh, extraterrestrial or something like this you are you you make us in your image and therefore we want to be uh, your image image of true love of peace and uh, this is what we want to practice in our families communities countries and the whole world uh, heavenly parents we want to really pray for this uh, uh, good upcoming world that is coming uh, uh, because you lead us through technology you bring us everything to us uh, and uh, now we want to open our mind and uh, receive all of this with gratitude uh, every day and uh, uh, to heal you, understand you. Heavenly Parent, uh, please receive this uh, Sunday, 18 of uh, December 2022 as a pure offering. We are so grateful for this day and I pray one more time for all brothers and sisters who join online and also offline uh, that at 7 o'clock we, we all your children could uh, join hands uh, and all planet uh, and pray for peace and raise the flag of peace that never to fight anymore.
Friendly parents, uh, I bring this uh, short report on my name is Nikolai Kerpala, Center Blood Family. Adieu, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. That was nice and quick. See you yeah. all. Thank you, Sailaja. Thank you. Good luck Thank in finale. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Tinko. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Stay happy, healthy. Pray for you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>